been and got some more wood. We've got a mixture between a bunch of featherboard for the roof, some of this C16 for the actual framing, whatever you want to call it. And also, when I was looking at the video back of the broom handles I was using, there was a bit of a flex. So we've gone with really thick broom handles this time. So that should be more than good enough to swing off. All right, so we're just working out that bar that you saw me just attach now, obviously comes at that angle, but we want to cut it flat. So when the next one touches it, they both butt up really nice. But it's just trying to work out what that angle is. So I've been and got that and measured the actual angle. I've now replicated that onto a piece of paper. So in theory, if we now fold this piece of paper in half, that will give us the angle that we want. So now that should be the angle. So I'm going to measure that again. Go outside and just double check. Perfect. Up your hair. Great job. Thank you. Did you just say I'm a bad influence? It's a bad influence. Well, it's chucking it down, but we're safe, aren't we? Yeah. We are. Go on. Right, we have thunder at the moment, so we're going to quickly do what we can. So you may have noticed I've put this bar here, which is two centimetres. That's just so I can butt up the actual um, featherboard all the way to the edge of there. And now I'm going to take that, pack that on this side, and then I can use it as a guide to cut all the way down. So it rained me off yesterday. So I've gone up early this morning and finished her off. He's looking mighty fine. Time to get our post sorted. <clears throat> right, so I'm gonna chuck four posts in. One, two, three, four, last one being here. And to make my life easier, instead of trying to work out measurements and everything, 
got a random block of wood. Stick it there, next one. Block of wood, next one, all the way to the bottom. Then we'll chop it all off, make it even, and put the banister on. Chop it good then. Right, that seems to be sturdy enough. But now I've just cut this off. I kind of regret it. I think it looks a little bit better. The tiny bit just protruding over the edge to just finish it off. I don't know, but either way, it doesn't matter because I can take it off and do it again um, because we need to go and get some more wood. Mainly because I had this stuff and that was gonna go across here to support these but we've been in purchase thicker wood haven't we so it's pretty close so if i'm going to buy some wood and i'm pretty much at the end of the project and i kick a box of screws over what's the point in trying to save a 10 pound here in there just to use a couple of scraps i might as well go and get the part i actually need so we're going on a road trip now we have the joys of joining a bloody queue to get indoors what you gotta do what you gotta do Right, so we're back with some more wood and I've just swapped this one. It looks much better now than being chopped straight off. But also, I was about to cut this one off and then I realised that this is pretty dumb sturdy, but there's a little, little wiggle. Well, if I keep this post and drill it in, that's going to add a bit more support. So I've just finished this one there perfectly like that, that I still need to cut down at the bottom. I think that looks much better. So I'm gonna chop the top of that one off, just tie the entire thing to this bit to give it more stability. And the only bit of flex should be down here, but it's gonna be fine. And now we just need to do the final bit, getting these monkey bars in. Um, there's always going to be little jobs to tart up and sand and everything, but this is the last major job. And also a fun one. Right, I've just done a bit of maths. We got 238 is the run. Um, I've spaced them out. I went with a 10, just randomly said 10 bars. And if I did 10 bars, they'll be 22.5 centimetres apart from each other. And that's a good gap between each one especially for a kit um so we're going to go with 10 uh, so what we need to do now is i've cut them down to the size we need to mark out 10 holes all the way down and then drill them right we've marked all these out now so before we start drilling we need to know how big the hole is going to be so i'm after 29 mil and obviously I've got everything but a 29, so we're going to see if 30 is too much. Now I'm happy with that, that's a 30 hole. Yeah, that's fine. Looking spot on, now I need to clean that up before Joe kills me, because she did actually vacuum that the other day.
she's finally finished. make sure that obviously she can't fall out joe's asked me to cut it put a hinge on it and latch it the other side so when adults are playing we can open it when kids are playing we can lock it makes sense um oh yeah, oh yeah. and we're also going to be adding a power supply in the back of there so we can fill it with a bunch of lights especially come christmas it's going to look pretty awesome but that's as done and dusted isn't it jess you gonna say thanks for watching thanks for watching <laughs> cheers guys bye i went and stopped